Welcome to the Cowbell Kingdom postgame show here at Sleep Train Arena. I am James Ham, standing courtside, where the Sacramento Kings fall to the Milwaukee Bucks by a final of 108 to 107. Demarcus Cousins makes his return after a 10-game absence, and he was an absolute beast. 27 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists. He turned the ball over six times. But he played 33 minutes, which was shocking. Most people thought he would start this slow, maybe 15 to 20 minutes per game. But that is not at all what Tyrone Corbin wanted. It's not at all what DeMarcus Cousins wanted. Cousins wanted to play this whole game. The Kings held him back just a little bit. You could see him getting noticeably frustrated in the third quarter when he was pulled from the game. But then he started the fourth, and he finished the fourth, which was shocking. Rudy Gay finishes strong, 20 points. Nine rebounds, six assists, a steal. This was a really slow night to begin for Rudy Gay, but he finishes the fourth quarter with 10 points. A very, very solid performance by Rudy Gay in his first game playing alongside DeMarcus Cousins in a long time. Uh, we had some lineups out there that we haven't had in a while. Um, plus, Cuz back being out there, you know, it was kind of tough for him to, you know, adjust. But, you know, it's a, it's a learning process, man. We're trying to get back. You know, trying to get all of our team back, all of our guys back, you know, everybody back on the same page. So yeah, I wasn't aggressive in the first half. I felt, I felt myself loafing out there, and uh, it was kind of a now or never attitude. Darren Collison woke out of his mini slump. He finishes with 15 points and five assists. McLemore has a very good game tonight, finishes with 22 points on 8 of 10 shooting, drops in three assists, four rebounds. He turns the ball over three times, which was not good. Played 41 minutes, and what we're seeing is major growth out of him. Tonight, you could tell he was not at all happy to play against a Greek freak. The Greek freak is the guy who got the uh, the nod over him for the rookie All-Star game last year. You could tell that McLemore wanted to stick it to him. He came out hot. He was aggressive. But then the Kings went away from him. On the flip side, while he was trying to show up, the Greek freak, he was giving up 17 points in the first quarter to O.J. Mayo, who absolutely torched the Kings early. But then Mayo just kind of disappeared. He finishes with 17, uh, no, he finishes with 19 points, 17 of those coming in the first quarter. This is one of those games where the numbers really don't tell the whole story. The Sacramento Kings shoot 56.7% from the field. They did a very nice job of putting the ball in the basket, especially Cousins and McLemore, who were both extremely efficient. But they turn the ball over 21 times. It leads to 17 points on the other end. And that's really the story of this game. The Bucks shoot 49% from the field, but they shoot 56.5% from behind the arc. And that is another key to this game. The Kings gave up 13 of 23 from behind the arc, where it seemed like they had no interest in playing defense on the perimeter at all in the first half. They when shot they well. Through. I mean, they, 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 they made shots, man. And they were, you know, with Dudley, he, just, he played four. And we had, you know, we're trying to play call some minutes. We want to get DeMarcus on the floor. They made it difficult for us to keep our rotations right. And, uh, a major pay on one end where we were able to get some shots on the on the other end, some post ups on the other side. Also, they got some offensive rebounds and we went short, small. They got, they hurt us on the boards a little bit. So, I'll give them credit. They they shot it well and they uh, made the shots when they needed to. Let's go to our three things for the night. First up, thieves. The Bucks are third in the NBA in steals at a little over nine a game. The Kings turned the ball over a lot tonight, but only six of those came on steals. So they did do a nice job of keeping the ball away from the Bucks. They just didn't do a nice job of keeping the ball in their own hands. The second key to tonight's game is bucking the paint. The Bucks are a top five team scoring in the post. But tonight, they're, they're missing Jabari Parker, they're missing Larry Sanders, they're missing John Henson, and they struggled. The Kings outscored the Bucks 48-26 to in the paint. DeMarcus Cousins, again, just rolling right through this team. They had no answer for Cousins. Let's go to the third key, running ahead. We keep hearing pace. We keep hearing all of these things about the Kings scoring more and about this, this different style of offense that we're going to see. Tonight we saw six fast break points by the Sacramento Kings. That's abysmal. 18 for the Bucks. Anytime you lose a fast break point battle by 12, you're in trouble. Tonight, the Kings shot just 67 shots from the field. While they were extremely efficient, that tells you that the pace of this game was extremely sc slow. The Kings average on the season 78.6 shots per game. So again, a reduction of almost 12 shots in this game 
for the Sacramento Kings. The MVP of this game is clearly DeMarcus Cousins. Again, he hadn't played in 10 games. He looked like he hadn't missed a beat. He just dominated Zaza Pujula and any other guy that they threw out on him. It really wasn't fair. 27 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists in his first game back. Again, shocking to see him play 33 minutes. In the locker room, he's not at all happy with the way that this has played out. He wants to get back on the winning path, and he wants to get all of this distraction behind him. Let's roll to DeMarcus Cousins. There's just so much going on. Um... I'm not, I'm not looking for excuses. I don't, I don't care about the, you know, situations going on. I don't care about the sickness. Just got to move forward, and and that's the only thing on my mind: moving forward and getting this thing right. I don't think we're far, honestly. Um, just getting our mindsets back in the right place. Um, like I said earlier, um, let's not look for excuses. Let's just, let's get through this adversity. Um, you know, fight for one another and, you know, keep pushing forward. Keep that main goal in mind. So that's what I think it's going to take. Are you tired of the distractions ready to get back? To? Absolutely. It's, it's too much too much outside stuff influencing this team. And um, I, I, I just want to get back to basketball. And that's it. All right, so the Kings have lost five in a row. They will be back at it on Sunday when they face off against the Lakers for a matinee. Uh, they have a back-to-back -back against the Warriors. I don't know what that means for DeMarcus Cousins at this point. He is ramped up and wants to play, but you could see tonight, you could watch him running out of gas, him not being able to get down to the other end of the court in the fourth quarter. The Kings are going to take it slow with him. They don't want any setbacks in his progression, and so we're going to have to see how that plays out. They need the win. They're going to go for the win on Sunday, and then I think all bets are off for Monday against Golden State down in Oakland. So I am James Ham. You've been watching the Cowboy Kingdom postgame show. Thanks for tuning in.